Are we live? Hello. Good morning. Hi everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi kids. So am I audible, visible? Good morning. Welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today we are going to start a new chapter that is reproductive health. Right. And after finishing this chapter, we will start the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So in a sequence, we are going to cover your class 12th syllabus and in the evening, we are discussing your class 11th syllabus, right? So parallelly, we'll finish your 11th and 12th syllabus and then there will be the revisions, one shots, revision, MCQ practice will be there. Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. So tell me, how are you people doing? How are you people doing? So today's chapter, you know, it's very easy, interesting and obviously a very scoring chapter as well. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So guys, are you okay with this timing or uh, you want the evening sessions? Do let me know in the comment section as well, okay? I'll check the comment section. Just let me know in the comment section that uh, you want the evening sessions or the morning session. Accordingly, we'll go, okay? So let's start the chapter. Let's start this particular chapter that is reproductive health. So you tell me in the uh, chat section that what do you understand by the reproductive health and why the reproductive health is important? Yes, what do you understand by the reproductive health and why reproductive health is important? Tell me. In the comment section after the class, mention your uh, favorable timings. That's all. Okay, we'll discuss it there. We'll discuss it there. Done? So what do you think? What, what is the meaning of reproductive health? Thank you, Bache Rashid. No, but I have completed the second part too. I don't know it. It got deleted. I don't know. We'll check, and otherwise we'll. I'll uh, take the second part again. Okay, don't worry about it. What do you understand by the reproductive health? What do you know about the reproductive health? Even if you know anything from the NCRT, just tell me. Ha, organs should normally function very good. Anything else? Anything else? See when you when we use the term healthy when we use the word health right so being healthy doesn't mean that you uh, the disease is not there the disease is absent right it doesn't mean that you don't have any disease then it means that you are healthy no it's not like that we have to consider all the aspects right the physical health social health mental health right right even the reproductive health should be preferred reproductive health should be preferred now we are using the word reproductive health Right. So here all the all the reproduction related aspects will be covered. OK. So when we talk about being healthy, we will consider the physical health, the mental health, the social health, the emotional health and the reproductive health as well. And when it comes to the reproductive health, we are going to cover all the reproductive uh, re reproduction related aspects. Right. The proper functioning of reproductive organs will be considered. Right. Uh, the uh, Along with the functioning of this reproductive organ, the proper education should be provided to the people because you know that reproduction is a very important process, right? See, what exactly is the reproduction? Re means again, re means again and production means to produce. So already existing individual, they are giving birth to the new organism. Right, already existing individuals, they are giving birth to the new organisms. This is the reproduction, which is very important, right? Otherwise, we are not going to survive because only unicellular organisms, they are immortal. Otherwise, all the organisms are mortal. So, reproduction is important for the continuation of a species. Clear, bache? So, all the aspects related to it, they are also important. So, here you guys can see it is as per your NCRT that according to the World Health Organization, that is your WHO, reproductive health means a total well-being in all aspects of reproduction, physical, emotional, behavioral and social, right? You should not miss even a single word from it. So, physical, emotional, behavioral and the social. So, a society with people having physically 
and functionally normal reproductive organs, normal emotional and behavioral interactions among them, right? In, and in all the sex related aspects, they are reproductively healthy, right? So we have to consider all the aspects related to the reproduction, right? Bache, even the emotional aspects also, even the behavioral aspects also. And it is important to aware people about the reproductive health. Otherwise, it can be a, a problem, right? So can you tell me some problem related to it? Like if let's say if people, they are not aware of reproductive health, what they got, what can they face according to you? Right, not as per the uh, NCRT, whatever you feel that yes ma'am, if uh, reproductive health will not be considered, then uh, these issues can come, right? Whatever is in your head, just let me know. And be quick, right? I want to see you people participating in the discussion. Yes, quick, hi, studies can be there, okay, acceptable, infertility related issues can be there, okay, no, generation will be there, generation will be there, so see if reproductively, if society is not aware of the reproduction related aspects, uh, it can result in the overpopulation. Right? It can result in the abnormalities. If people they are not aware that how to take care of a pregnant female and a newborn baby, right? So obviously the death rate will be more. It, isn't it? Isn't it? And if they are not aware that if there will be more population, it can result in poverty. It can result in unemployment. So obviously at, uh, they, 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 one should aware them that right, the population, uh, population should be in limits. Isn't it? Population should be in limits. This is what we need to consider. So when we talk about the reproductive health, everything we have to consider. We even need to aware people about the overpopulation, right? We even need to tell people about, uh, and especially, especially the, especially the uh, teenagers, right? Especially those who attain the puberty so that they, they'll get the proper education from a proper source so that there should be no misconception. So all these aspects need to be considered when you talk about the reproductive health. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So here we are going to talk about the health uh, problems and the strategies. So first of all, let me tell you, Bache, when it comes to the India, India was amongst the first, right, first countries in the world to initiate action plans and programs at a national level right this is important it can be asked as a question as well so all of you please pay attention here right india india is the first country who initiated the family planning programs in 1951 right in 1951 it is important okay and were periodically assessed over the past decades so india is the first country actually scenario was bache initially you know, before independence, the medical facilities were not so good, okay, and uh, people were not obviously not aware of their reproductive health. So, after independence, obviously, uh, medical facilities, they were, uh, me uh, good medical facilities were provided to everyone, right? So, you know that even in the government hospitals, they, uh, they start the campaigns, they aware people about the, uh, about all the aspects related to this particular topic and even, even free of cost, free of cost, they uh, provide the facilities to a pregnant women, right, to pregnant women and even, even they take care of the newborn babies as well, right. So after independence what happened? Because medical facilities were good, so because of that population, population growth was increasing. Now you must be thinking that ma'am, how is it possible? Because but before that, right, before proper medical facilities, many times during, uh, you know, during childbirth, Many female, they died during childbirth, even uh, because proper care of that uh, newborn was not there. So, mortality rate was high, right? Mortality rate was high. Mortality rate means death rate, okay? Death rate was high. So, before uh, independence, even the, even the birth rate, that is your natality, birth rate, that is your natality, even it was high, but mortality rate was high also high right mortality rate of infant as well and of mother as well but because of proper health facilities these things were decreasing right mortality rate was less and even the birth rate was more so it was it was causing the increase in population and now you people know the result of it isn't it isn't it now for one lakh for one lakh mbbs seats 22 to 23 lakh aspirants 
they are giving the exam for the 1 lakh seats isn't it isn't it bache right so that is why all these aspects they are important so this question is very important that india india is the first country to start the family planning program and it was initiated in 1951 and now this program is renamed right now the name of this program is reproductive and child health care programs right now it comes under the reproductive and child health care programs and under reproductive and child health care programs we consider every every reproduction related aspects right here we even discuss the importance of sex education in the schools here we even discuss the uh, stis the you know the the, the, uh, the proper care of a pregnant woman and the baby right so everything will be considered here under this reproductive and child health care program so again this question can be asked in your paper right bachche so now how to create the awareness see these all all these points are from ncrt i am not going to explain it in detail the reason is you know about it right so i'll give you the overview otherwise if i'll start on this topic it can take near about 1 hour 2 hour 3 hours so we don't have that much time right so let's focus on the main main points here okay so see creating awareness among people about various reproduction related uh, uh, aspects but how can we do this obviously the media can help audio visuals print media government and non governmental agencies like your ngos they can help they can guide people right and even on tv i think you people have seen it many times that slogan uh, right remember hum do hamare do something like that hum do hamare do something like that so from time to time time to time you know government and even the non governmental agencies they start these things okay they used to start these things they they start various campaigns to guide people especially in the village areas where people are not aware of it where they don't know because earlier it was uh, it was the mentality and still many people have the same mentality right that if we will have more if we will have more children then obviously they'll go they'll earn money and we'll have a better life but it is not like that it is literally not like that you know that right right so so people one should tell them the importance of the small families okay so how can we achieve it with the help of audio visual medias print medias governmental and non governmental agencies introduction of sex education in schools right it's a very uh, it's a very uh, you can say that debatable topic that that why why is it important to provide the sex educations in school so according to you what do you think bachche see you are going to be the future doctor okay so obviously you people should discuss things like that there there should be no hesitation in that okay your source of information should be authentic done bachche so what do you think about this topic introduction of sex education in schools to spread awareness good good chalo i'll tell you one more aspect here see bachche in the schools you know that uh, in the age of like especially in the case of girls in the age of uh, when they are 9 years old 9 to 11 when they are in the age of 9 to 11 obviously uh, they start they start their menstrual cycle right they start their menstrual cycle basically they attain the puberty you know about the puberty right when the reproductive organs they become functional and the gamete formation started you know that right so girls in the age of 9 years 10 years 11 years and same boys in the age of 12 years 13 years 14 years they attain their puberty you now puberty is the age when their reproductive organs they will become functional right gamete formation will start their reproductive organs will become functional so obviously in this time hormonal changes will be there in the body yes or no hormonal changes will be there in the body and that hormonal changes they result in the growth of the organs right uh, if i talk about the boys so you know that the uh, the facial hairs will start growing these are the secondary sexual characters facial hair will start growing that this larynx it will become prominent it, it will become that adam's apple isn't it isn't it in the case of girls breast development will start pubic hair, hair growth will start isn't it isn't it so even hormonal changes are also there so they don't know how to channelize that energy right they don't know to whom they can talk because inside they they are feeling uh, they, they are they are they are facing many changes and they don't know they don't know how to channelize that they don't know with whom they can talk and discuss right so they need proper guidance they literally need proper guidance 
right right uh, the the menstrual hygiene should be taught to the girls right in the case of boys they should know that how now their system is going to work and how can they help because in their case the testosterone will increase isn't it the testosterone will increase obviously it will even result in the aggression yes or no you all are in the same age so if you will compare yourself from uh, uh, like compare yourself to a kid of uh, to a kid who's in uh, seventh class who's in sixth class right so you you face that thing isn't it you people face that thing that aggression that unjustified aggression many times right you don't know why are you being so rude or aggressive sometimes to your parents sometimes to your friends sometimes to yourself isn't it isn't it so you need proper guidance you need proper guidance so all that aspects should be covered in this sex education and in schools because your teachers are going to teach you your teachers are going to guide you your teachers are going to provide you the uh, information so obviously that will be authentic otherwise you all are curious in this age this curiosity is normal we want to explore our sexuality we want to know more about our body we want to know more about the body of the other gender as well right right so there are chances that you might get trapped and you will get wrong information okay so it's better it's better to provide you this information in schools in colleges and 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 the teachers right the teachers should discuss it with you ha huh, I, i know that many teachers they skip this chapter but i think it should not be it should not be we should talk about it okay and being the medicos right you people should have that open mindset that yes we have to talk about it right we have to talk about it it should not be taken in another way done bachche done bachche that is why it is important so proper information about reproductive organs adolescence do you know what is adolescence adolescence now see it is a age it's a very lovely and a very complicated age right now you are not even a an adult and now you are not even a you are not even a kid right it's it's a age in between adolescence kishora avastha it's a age in between isn't it isn't it you are not fully grown up and you are not even a kid so you struggle with many things and of course of course the reason here is what the hormonal changes the hormonal changes okay okay so you are attaining that maturity and during this time period even your brain right if i talk about the brain development it is not proper even the part of the brain which is involved in the decision making is still not it's still not fully developed in this age so you think that you are right but but you don't consider all the aspects okay so you need proper guidance right that is why it is said that teenage is very crucial right it is the age right this is the age that can make you or break you are you getting my point right so so all the related changes safe and hygienic sexual practices sexually transmitted diseases for sexually transmitted diseases we use the word sti or rti now now what is the meaning of this sti and rti sti sexually transmitted infections so instead of disease we use the word infection rti reproductive reproductive tract infections right so instead of stis we use the word uh, instead of stds that is sexually transmitted diseases we use the word sti that is sexually transmitted infections or reproductive tract infections and it is also known as venereal diseases right it is also known as venereal diseases right bachche so you know that many people they are uh, they they are not confident enough to talk about their uh, uh, problems related to the uh, reproduction right and especially in the case of males male ego you know right so male ego or you can say that uh, they they cannot accept it if someone is putting a question mark on their sexuality on their masculinity like they relate these two things okay okay so they are not so confident they are not open enough to talk about these issues right so they should not feel any there should be no stigma at all so that is why instead of disease we use the word infection okay it is sexually transmitted infection venereal disease or reproductive tract infection so all that aspect should be covered here and even uh, educating people is also the part of this awareness uncontrolled population growth social evils like sex abuse and sex related crimes all that things 
should be discussed with the people so this is about the this is about these uh, creating awareness among people right so in that way we can do that okay and even now even even if you people feel you know some issues some problems you should talk to your elders you can if you are not comfortable enough to talk to your parents talk to your teachers talk to your uh, elder brothers and sister clear right so so providing medical assistance and reproduction related prog uh, problems like pregnancy delivery stds abortion contraception menstrual problems infertility etc like see in this age uh, people uh, the in this age basically the students they are not even aware of they are not even aware of all the uh, all the sexual practices as well right and uh, they don't know how to handle the things okay so in that case obviously they can make some uh, they can they can cause some problem they can create some problem to themselves right right so even in teenage the abortion rate was increasing so it was it is mandatory it is mandatory to provide the sex education in the school right right so that they can get the proper guidance and if there is any problem they can talk to their elders so that they can get the proper solution right so it the, all that things they come under the reproductive and child health care programs and moreover moreover bachche all the uh, population related aspects also right they are taught here that if there will be an increase in population it can cause this and that problem and we need to we need to think of it we need to control it now are you getting my point so initially in this chapter this is what we are going to learn we are going to discuss clear bachche clear bachche now you know that in the ncrt itself they have when they are explaining this uh, awareness program this program the strategies everything so we we found one word and that is what amniocentesis isn't it isn't it right ma'am uh, you didn't join your mock test series group which mock test series group bachche yesterday i took one session on it nikhil okay so yes amniocentesis you are going to find this word in the N ncrt so what is this amniocentesis do you know about this amniocentesis see yesterday in during uh, when we were discussing the embryonic development so we were talking about the amnion yes or no we were talking about the amnion so you know that amnion is an extra embryonic membrane what is amnion it is an extra embryonic membrane isn't it isn't it so the baby the fetus is going to grow in the uterus and that fetus is covered that fetus is present in the amniotic cavity that fetus is covered with the amnion you know that right right so here you can see in mother's womb this is the fetus which is growing this is a this is a fetus which is growing and it is covered with a fluid it is present in this cavity now when you talk about the amniocentesis you talk about the amniocentesis it's a technique by which we can check genetic disorder if any of the fetus but it is not to determine the sex of the fetus what is this amniocentesis it's a technique it is a technique by which you can check genetic disorder if any of the fetus but not to determine the sex of the fetus right right it is the amniocentesis so right you now you guys can see here see ultrasound transducer is there so it is not it, it is a very tricky technique it's literally a very a tricky technique and we need the experts to perform that so amniocentesis by amniocentesis right we can check that that growing fetus is having any genetic disorder or not and here but this technique is uh, performed uh, you can say that in near about 15th week 2 20th week and sometimes it is given 16th week to uh, 22nd week of pregnancy right you know na human gestation period is of 9 months human gestation period is is of 9 months so during 5th week to 20th week we can perform this technique which is amniocentesis and usually it is uh, uh, performed when you know the female is 
above 30 above 32 right or above 35 because in that case there are chances there are chances of non disjunction and it can even result in the downs syndrome it can even result in the turners syndrome so just to check that just to make sure that right that baby is having any genetic abnormality or not this amniocentesis is performed right this amniocentesis is performed now what is the procedure here bache so see now as i said that that fetus that fetus is covered with that amniotic fluid so experts are going to experts are going to take that amniotic fluid now in this amniotic fluid what will we find we'll find some cells of course right some cells from this fetus some cells from the surrounding and when when these cells when they will be studied right we can check the chromosome pattern there we can check the chromosomes there okay okay we can check the chromosomes there so obviously if we are studying the chromosomes we'll get to know whether it is xx or xy yes or no if we are studying the chromosomes obviously we can check right whether it's xx or xy xx means female if there are two x chromosomes means female right if two uh, if x and y chromosome is there male right so along with other genetic disorders we can even check the sex right so so this technique there is a, a statutory ban on this technique why bache because it was misused to check the sex of the fetus and it was promoting the female pity side which is known as brun hatya in hindi right so this technique was used to promote the female pity side right right when they don't want a girl child they were aborting it after performing this technique okay but this technique is not meant for uh, checking the sex it is not for the prenatal sex determination but it is to check the genetic disorder like as i said down's syndrome turner's syndrome right these are the uh, chromosomal disorders you know that isn't it these are the chromosomal disorders okay down syndrome turner's syndrome and it is even used to check the mendelian disorders like hemophilia sickle cell anemia can also be checked right hemophilia sickle cell anemia can also be checked so this is how this technique will be performed but yes there is a ban on it because it is not used to not used to check the sex right right and even bache even the biochemical and the biochemical things are also checked with the help of this technique so this is amniocentesis so any doubt here any doubt here so the next topic is it is directly from ncrt population explosion and birth control as i said when we talk about the reproduction related aspects we even talk about the population explo explosion you know that overpopulation is not at all good it can result in the pure, uh, poverty it can result in the unemployment it can result in uh, increase in crime as well right which there will be the fight for everything so it's not good so obviously with this population explosion we are going to talk about the birth control methods and for your exam this topic is very important okay okay this topic is very important so now let's read it so see in the last century on an all-round development in various fields significantly improved the quality of life as i said that after independence obviously the better health care was provided so mortality rate of infant and mother was less and it resulted in increase in population isn't it is isn't it but so if you will see here the word population this data is important they can ask you the question from this part so please mark it in your ncrt the word population which was around 2 billion that is 2000 million 2 billion means 2000 million in 1900 it rocketed to about 6 billions by 2000 just imagine initially it was 2 billions right in 1900 and then it becomes 6 billions by 2000 so a similar trend was observed in india right our population which was approximately 350 million at the time of our independence imagine 350 350 million at the time of our independence reached close to billion mark by 2000 right billion mark by 2000 and crossed 1 billion in my 2000 so this is important you need to you need to mark it right right you need to mark it so that means every sixth person in the world is an indian so a rapid decline in death rate that is maternal mortality rate and the infant mortality rate as well as 
increase in number of people in reproducible age and probable reason for this okay right you know that we have that uh, the people in reproducible age they are more uh, you, you remember that age distribution we talk about the pre reproductive age group okay we talk about the reproductive age group and then we talk about the post reproductive age group so people in reproducible age they are more that is the reason the population is increasing at such a faster rate right so in this reproductive and child health care programs right no doubt it is to provide the awareness right right so we can bring down the population growth rate it was only marginal but according to 2001 census report the population growth rate was still around 1.7 percent so this is what we need to mark it is given in ncrt so obviously they can ask you the question on the basis of it okay so yes we need to remember this data so what you can do right with the class itself you can make the running notes and you can just note down these points okay you can just note down this point so ultimately it is very important to control the population because it is increasing at a very fast rate and now currently you know the situation isn't it you people know the situation when it comes to the population fine bachche fine so here you guys can see the most important step to overcome this is to motivate smaller families right we can provide the incentives to the people having small families isn't it reproducible age should be increased like for males if it is 18 make it 21 like this like this so we need to make such changes then only we can control the population right which so see you might have seen the advertisement in the media as well as posters showing a happy couple with two children with the slogan hum do hamare do we too are too and many couples mostly the young urban working ones have been adopted as one child no okay okay so these are some ways to control the population uh, explosion here right it is mentioned here right and the most important obviously is to use the contraceptive methods right and that can they can prevent what they can prevent the unwanted pregnancies right but so this is what we need to study now the contraceptive method so now actually we can see uh, we can say that our uh, this is what we need to study for the neat examination right so from this chapter reproductive health the contraceptive methods one and uh, second is your uh, infertility that is assisted reproductive technologies these two are the most important topics and then comes your sexually transmitted infections but that we can also discuss in human health and disease right and today i will just tell you the name of the disease and the causative agents in detail we will discuss it there in the uh, human health and disease so these are the three most important topics of this particular chapter clear bache this is what you need to study but as i said this chapter is not just important for your neat examination you should know the depth of it right you should know that in this chapter what are they trying to do right they are just trying to aware the people in your age the people of your age basically clear done and nikhil bache you can you just go to that uh, an academy platform you can again give your test fine you can again give your test clear bache so now let's talk about the contraceptive method so what do you understand by the contraceptive method and there is one more word that is conception right do you know the meaning of these two words contraceptive methods or conception right contraceptive method and conception what is the meaning of these two terms be quick tell me tell me One is contraceptive method, na? Another word is conception. Contraceptive method, ha? Huh. It is to provide the unwanted, uh, unwanted pregnancy. And what about this conception? But this conception word is related to the pregnancy. It is related to the fertilization conception, right? It is related to the conception word. Like uh, you will uh, read this that to avoid the co conception contraceptive methods are pre uh, preferred so conception right it is related to that fertilization it is related to that pregnancy so to avoid pregnancy contraceptive methods are used so when you talk about the contraceptive methods right right so they should have these properties an ideal contraceptive method should be user friendly see 
when it comes to the contraceptive methods what are we going to focus now you know the process of right now you know the process of the fertilization isn't it what is fertilization in the fertilization there will be the fusion of the sperm and the ovum right there is the fusion of the sperm and the ovum and it will result in the production of a zygote right right and then that zygote will get implanted in the uterus and when that zygote will get implanted in the uterus we say it is the pregnancy right then the female will be considered as pregnant right so now just look at this look at this if let's say if a couple they want to have the sexual intercourse but they want to avoid the pregnancy so what can they do the gamete should not meet right look at the various stages here look at the various stages here so first is first is the gametes gametes should not fuse isn't it gametes should not fuse isn't it isn't it right we can we, uh, we can do it in different different ways right let's say both sperm and ovum they are present in the genital tract but they should not fuse or or for this what can we do the sperm and ovum should not be present together one thing if let's say if in female genital tract sperm is present but ovum is not there again there will be no chance of pregnancy yes or no if in the female genital tract there is the presence of sperm but there is uh, uh, there is the absence of egg so obviously there will be no fertilization second way in the female genital tract let's say after ovulation female is having the sexual intercourse but at that time sperm is not present again there is no chance of there is no chance of fertilization let's say the male is not ejaculating within the female body right no ejaculation means no semen obviously there will be no chance of no chance of fertilization again so uh, these things right these steps on the basis of that scientists they have designed the contraceptive method right so the very first step and very common one is that to avoid to avoid the fusion of the gametes to avoid the fusion of the sperm and the ovum right bache second thing now see let's say by chance there is fertilization then what can we do the zygote should not get implanted isn't it zygote should not get implanted so you know that implantation will be there in the uterus in the endometrial lining so we can stop it right right we can just stop it oh obviously there are some methods for this and now let's say even the implantation is done even the implantation is done right now again the female female is not desiring that baby female doesn't want that baby so obviously what can we do again the abortion can be there the last step the crucial step mtp medical termination of pregnancy there are certain grounds for it we will discuss in today's lecture and yes even this topic is important medical termination of pregnancy will be there right will be there then so when we talk about the contraceptive methods they are designed by keeping these points in head okay by keeping these points in head we uh, we talk about the contraceptive method so when you talk about the ideal contraceptive methods bache it should be user friendly uh, what is the meaning of user friendly like it should not be very fancy that you know people they don't know uh, they should know how to use right right it is it should be easily usable isn't it isn't it in india you know that you know that you cannot say that the literacy rate is very high right all are educated no no many people they are not so the contraceptive method it should be designed in such a way that all can use it it should be user friendly it should not be very expensive okay it should be easily available it should be easily available yes there should be no side effects it should not play any role in the sexual desires it should not decrease the sexual desire this is the meaning of ideal contraceptive method so as i said user friendly easily available it should be effective and reversible like let's see if a couple they don't want the babies now but they want it later so obviously it should be reversible as well it should be reversible as well with no or least side effects right so it should not interfere with the sexual drive so for sexual drive we also use the word libido okay for sexual desires we also use the word uh, for sexual drive we also use the word libido so it should not interfere with that libido right it should not cause the side effects it should it should not harm the reproductive organs are you getting it are you getting it so this is the meaning of an ideal contraceptive method clear
right it is the meaning of ideal contraceptive method so when you talk about these contraceptive methods there are so many contraceptive methods right so uh, permanent methods are also there the temporary methods are also there clear bachche permanent method mein there will be the surgery in temporary methods we will see the natural method the barrier method the chemical method so there are different different things that we are going to discuss today right right so here you people can see the condoms the pills the hormonal rings the intrauterine devices the injections are also there implants are also there surgical sterilization is there right so this is what we need to discuss clear bachche clear bachche bachche i used to take classes in the morning monday tuesday wednesday morning morning 9 am okay morning 9 am done so make this flow chart so what are we talking we are talking about the contraceptive methods right what are we talking we are talking about the contraceptive method so as i said it is temporary as well and permanent as well okay temporary as well and permanent as well so when you talk about the temporary methods we will discuss natural methods most commonly used barrier methods are also there hormonal or you can say that chemical methods right we even talk about the iud's very important we even talk about the iud so they are temporary they are reversible but when you talk about the permanent method so here there is only one thing that is surgery surgery surgical methods are there right surgical methods are there so here we have vasectomy and tubectomy okay vasectomy and tubectomy right so obviously this vasectomy and tubectomy it will result in sterilization right it will result in sterilization okay so these methods are irreversible like there is a chances of uh, reversibility but they are very 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 less right they are very less okay so these method these permanent methods in which surgery is there it is vasectomy and tubectomy it will result in the sterilization their reversible uh, their reversibility rate is very 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 low okay okay so vasectomy vasectomy so vas means vas difference okay so obviously it will be performed in the case of males and when it is tubectomy from tube you have to remember the fallopian tube right what do you need to remember you need to remember the fallopian tube so obviously it will be performed in the case of females so when it is the vasectomy right the vas difference will be cut and tied so that in semen the sperm should not be there when it is tubectomy fallopian tube will be cut and tied so obviously the gamete will not be transported like this clear bachche so now we need to focus on these temporary methods right this is what we need to discuss the temporary methods clear bachche clear so in the temporary method we are going to start with the natural methods first what are we going to do first we are going to start with the natural methods first okay so natural methods also known as traditional methods so we have three examples periodic abstinence withdrawal of coitus interruptus lactational amenorrhea or absence of menstruation these are the three methods when we talk about what when we talk about the natural methods or the traditional methods right bachche right so you know uh, uh, basically the uh, many years ago people used to prefer these right still still they use it but oh, let me tell you when it comes to the natural or the traditional methods they are not 110% safe no doubt there is no side effect to the female but they are not safe okay they are not uh, their success uh, their success rate is not high right when i'm saying that it is not safe it means it is it is not ensuring that there will be no pregnancy this is what i'm going to tell you okay so the first is periodic abstinence do you know the meaning of this line periodic abstinence periodic abstinence yes it is also known as safe method it is also known as rhythm method 
इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सेफ मेथड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रिथम मेथड डू यू नो अबाउट इट ये सेफ मेथड एंड द रिथम मेथड इट इज सेफ मेथड एंड द रिथम मेथड इट इज प्रियोडिक एक्सीडेंट बच्चे टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस मेथड ना यू शुड नो अबाउट यू शुड नो अबाउट द मेन्स्यूरल साइकिल डू यू नो अबाउट द मेन्स्यूरल साइकिल ऑल द डेज एंड दर्मोनल चेंजेस See, when we talk about the menstrual cycle, you know that it is for on an average we consider it for twenty-eight days or for the twenty-nine days, isn't it? Isn't it? Now you know that on day fourteenth, on day fourteenth, there will be the ovulation. Okay, there will be the ovulation. That is the release of your meat. You know that when you talk about the menstrual cycle in a case of female. right when you talk about the menstrual cycle in a case of female so for initial right for initial 3 to 5 days there will be the bleeding phase yes or no for initial 3 to 5 days there will be the bleeding phase yes or no yes bachche there will be the bleeding phase yes or no and then day 6 to day 13 right it is going to be the follicular phase remember it is going to be the follicular phase the 14th day even you can consider plus minus 2 so that will be the ovulatory day ovulation will occur right and then this day 15 to that 28th or 29th day it will be the luteal phase the secretory phase this is what we know this is what we know so now when it is the periodic abstinence which is the safe method which is the rhythm method it is in this method what female is going to do right that that couple will avoid the sexual intercourse right 7 days 7 days before menstruation like so basically first of all i will tell you about the safe period like see now you know that on 14th day there will be the ovulation you can as i said you can consider plus minus 2 what you people can consider you guys can consider plus minus 2 okay plus minus 2 is like no doubt no doubt we used to say that on 14th day there will be the ovulation but it is not surely 14th let's say it can be 12th 13th 14th or 15th 16th day so obviously they should avoid the sexual intercourse during that period right during that period they should avoid the sexual intercourse because they, uh, during that period if there will be the presence of sperm within the female genital tract it can result in the pregnancy right it can result in the pregnancy yes or no yes or no so it is considered as the fertility period okay it is considered as the fertility period right right what is it it is the fertility period so during this ovulatory phase during this fertility period the sexual intercourse should be avoided okay okay the sexual intercourse should be avoided so this is basically your this is basically your natural method or the rhythm method are you getting it it is basically the natural method or the rhythm method done bachche done then so here the safe period is considered as safe period to have unprotected sexual intercourse it is considered as 7 days before menstrual cycle and 7 days after menstrual cycle are you getting it 7 days before menstrual cycles cycle and after 7 uh, days after right 7 days after menstrual cycle clear bachche so it is considered as a safe period how see 7 days before 7 days before menstrual cycle means this is the menstrual cycle means the luteal phase and 7 days after menstrual cycle means you can consider somewhere this follicular phase right so that is why during so this is consider considered as the this is considered as the safe period clear bachche so this is periodic abstinence rhythm method or or the safe method done so obviously to follow this method female should know about her female should know about her menstrual cycle she should know that exact date 
right then only she can calculate and they can avoid the sexual intercourse during this period even even by by uh, by you know calculating the days of menstrual cycle female can even judge that when is the ovulatory period when is that fertility period so if they want babies they can have sexual intercourse at that time so that there will be the more chances of the pregnancy clear bachche so this is the periodic abstinence now the next is withdrawal or the coitus interruptus coitus interruptus coitus means sexual intercourse interruptus means to interrupt now let's say when the male and the female they are having the sexual intercourse at that time what they can do male before ejaculation of the semen male can male can avoid the ejaculation in the female genital tract male can withdraw the penis before ejaculation in the female genital tract this is the coitus interruptus remember do you remember about the insemination i told you about the insemination the transfer of male gametes in the female genital tract the transfer of male gametes in the female genital tract that is the insemination i told you about it now let's say let's say male and female they are having unprotected sexual intercourse but male is not ejaculating the semen semen within the female body so if there is no semen obviously no sperm will be there no sperm will be there isn't it so this is the withdrawal method withdrawal of penis before ejaculation right right but again it is not safe it is not safe might be let's say if a male missed that or another thing is it is even written right in the in many books you know about the you know about the copper's gland yes you know about the copper's gland also known as bulbo urethral gland you know now in the case of males this gland is going to provide the lubrication in the case of males this gland is going to provide the lubrication do you remember do you remember this male is going it is going to provide the lubrication to the penis during sexual intercourse but it is even believed that sometimes some sperms are also result, released in that time no doubt it is providing the ejaculation it is providing the sorry it is providing the lubrication during sexual intercourse but yes some it is even believed that sometimes with its secretion some sperms can also pass out right right so obviously it is not at all a safe method it is not at all a safe method done next is lactational amenorrhea which is absence of menstruation right which is absence of menstruation now now what is this lactational amenorrhea now you know that even in the last class we discussed it when you talk about the anterior lobe of pituitary after childbirth you know that female is going to lactate there will be the lactation after childbirth you know that there will be the lactation yes or no yes or no after child birth there will be the lactation yes or no tell me there is there is so now you know that anterior lobe of pituitary releases prolactin and this prolactin p for production p for production this prolactin is responsible for the production of milk right this prolactin is responsible for the production of milk right it is going to act on the alveoli of the uh, mammary gland isn't it and it, the alveoli will secrete the milk right so now when a female after childbirth when a female is heavily lactating when a female is heavily lactating right so in that time period right the fsh and lh is not there in the female's body fsh and lh is not produced see na anterior lobe of pituitary is al already releasing prolactin right it's busy in that it is already releasing prolactin it is busy in that so in that time because FSH and LH, the gonadotropins are also released by anterior lobe of pituitary. These gonadotropins, they are all they are, these gonadotropins, they are also released by the anterior lobe of pituitary. So obviously, obviously, right, the FSH and LH is not there in the body. So if there is no FSH and no LH, so obviously there is no ovulation, isn't it? There is no ovulation. Clear, bache? Clear, bache? There is no ovulation. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? So, if there is no ovulation, so absence of menstruation is there. So, it is considered that uh, six months after childbirth, the female 
is heavily lactating and the menstruation is absent so that time period is the safe period again but again let me tell you again we need to take care of these conditions that female is uh, have female should be heavily lactating right female should be heavily lactating are you getting it are you getting it so that is these are the natural methods these are the natural methods bache lactational amenorrhea right withdrawal or the coitus interruptus and the periodic abstinence clear and the periodic abstinence clear bache sure sure any doubt here yes any doubt here Sure. So, uh, students, there is some uh, urgency. I need to end the session right now. Okay. Uh, there is something urgent. So, I need to end the session right now. You know that this chapter is not so lengthy. I thought that I will finish it in within three hours. Right. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll start the next chapter from next day. But because of some urgent work, I need to end the session right now. But I'll continue it and we'll directly start from these contraceptive methods and then we will continue. So, I hardly I need your two hours to finish it. Okay. So, contraceptive methods, infertility, MTP will be discussed and uh, we'll finish it very quickly. But today I have to end the session right now. Is that okay? Done. So, sorry for this but uh, yes, some something urgent is there. So, you please put one comment right and uh, what do you want to start next even let me know in the comment section clear so thank you so much everyone